Simply Me, Lisa G. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to my kitchen. It's Simply Me, Lisa G. And I'm gonna bring you along with me on this meal prep journey. Today, I'm going to be making my salad bowl that I pretty much have as my raw meal for the week. So, it's also a go-to. So if you get hungry and you want something to eat, when in doubt, it's already made. It's an easy thing for you to choose and it's good for you. Here we go, I'm gonna show you what I have. Right now I have here washed some tomatoes, some peppers as you can see, some cucumber. I have some celery here, and I have some sweet peppers, and of course some more cucumbers. So if you have not guessed it already, this is going to be mainly cucumber base, which is great because cucumbers are great for inflammation, it's anti-inflammatory. Also already in here, I have scallions already cut up. Then my ginger, which I will dice and put in there as well. So it's refreshing and it just, it makes you feel really good inside. It feels good going in, it's clean eating. So let's get started. Just you to my chop wizard, love this thing. Uh, see that, great. This is what I use to cut everything. You'll see the process. So here we go. All right. So. Just And these are my vegetable and produce storage containers. Uh, comes with a drip tray, keeps everything nice and fresh. Got it on Amazon, you get them in a three pack. Very awesome, if you don't have them, they're great. I recommend them. So I'm just about done with my celery. I'm gonna go back to cutting my cucumbers. And again, I use this for everything. Cut. Now what I'm doing is I'm slicing the ginger thin enough that when I put it through the dicer, it's going to give me bite-sized beet pieces that you will come across while you are enjoying your salad. So it's not overbearing, it's just the right amount of flavor and it's quite desirable. For 
for the ginger, this has two sizes, so that's the large size. For the ginger, I always use a smaller grate. See that? does this look very beautiful and vibrant look at that look at all that color but it's going to taste delicious this is not how I mix it typically but I just want to see give you an idea of what it's going to look like see that see how the colors are just all incorporated some sweet peppers as well just a handful and goes back like that again storage container great thing about it is that i actually wash those and then i put them in those containers and when i'm ready to use them they are ready for me when i am ready for them they are ready for
Now it's for the fun part. This is the before. Voila. And, and when you are ready to eat, you simply, you simply complement it with some everything bagel seasoning. And it really does not require any dressing. Now, if you're a dressing person and you need it to be sopping, it's already moist because of the um, tomatoes and a lot of the vegetables are water-based. So, Top it off with that everything bagel seasoning, like so. Of course, you can add more when you are actually eating, but that is the finished product. And this is gonna last me anytime I'm hungry in the evening, because I do one whole and two raw meals a day. Sometimes one whole, one raw meal, sometimes all raw, but no more than one whole meal a day and the rest raw. This is what I have. So, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that I was helpful and hopefully you can add that to your refrigerator and your weekly routine. And if this is your first time and you've made it to the end of this video, please do not hesitate to come back and see me again. So hit that notification bell after you smash that subscribe button and come back and see me next time for another great vegan, raw, or just fun video. Because it's simply me, Lisa G. Be safe out there.